Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 29th. March 29th is the 88th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 89th in leap years, with 277 days remaining until the end of the year. <laughs> Today's word is artless. This is an adjective that means without guile, sincere, simple, free of artificiality, lacking art or skill. This word comes to us from Latin and Old English, from words that mean without art. <laughs> Earliest documented use of this word is 1586. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Stay tuned for those outtakes, and remember that you can share this video with others with a link in your email or through social media. And with that, we're going to start in the year 845, when on this day, Paris was sacked by Viking raiders who collected a huge ransom in exchange for leaving. The final campaign of the Civil War began at Appomattox on March 29, 1865. This is the birthday of American baseball player and manager Cy Young, born March 29, 1867. He lived to the age of 88. The Royal Albert Hall was opened by Queen Victoria on March 29, 1871. The Knights of Columbus was established on March 29, 1882. On March 29, 1886, a man named John Pemberton brewed up his first batch of what later came to be known as Coca-Cola in his backyard in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the birthday of American businessman Sam Walton, born March 29, 1918. Of course, he's the founder of Walmart and Sam's Club. He lived to the age of 74. On March 29, 1929, President Herbert Hoover had a phone installed at his desk in the Oval Office of the White House. The White House had had telephone service since 1878 by virtue of switchboard, but until he got this line installed, the president had to step out to the foyer outside the Oval Office in order to use the phone. March 29, 1951 marks a recurrence of homemade explosive devices detonated in various places around New York City. Such explosions had begun in the 1940s, but the perpetrator, known as the Mad Bomber, had ceased making these devices during World War II. Now resumed, he continued to make and set his bombs intermittently until he was captured and sent to a mental institution in 1957. Also on March 29, 1951, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg were convicted of espionage for their role in passing atomic secrets to the Soviets during and after World War II. The 23rd Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified on March 29, 1961. This is the one that allows residents of Washington, D.C. to vote in the presidential election. On March 29, 1971, Lieutenant William Calley was found guilty of murder in the My Lai Massacre. The last U.S. combat soldiers left South Vietnam on March 29, 1973. On March 29, 1974, the U.S. space probe Mariner visited the planet Mercury, sent back close-up images of the planet. Another discovery on March 29, 1974, the Terracotta Army was discovered in Shanxi Province, China. This is a remarkable collection of terracotta sculptures of an estimated more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, lifelike, full-size sculptures, each one different from the others. These are thought to date from about the late 3rd century BC. And I think that's going to do it for us today. As always, links to my research is included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And feel free to share if you found this interesting, informative, or entertaining. <laughs> Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. I may look slightly less glamorous than usual because I've been outside in the backyard gardening.
I don't have all the text. Hmm. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah, we'll probably leave that part out. <laughs> How many times are we gonna have to do this for over? Okay. <laughs> so many mistakes. <laughs> We're not gonna go into all that, okay? I don't know how all that's gonna go together, or if it's even gonna make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna cut those out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs> 